Well, they don't. No, they don't eat your eyes. They just. They actually get in. They. I mean, they crawl around in your eyes. It's kind of. I mean, uh, there's nothing like these these worm diseases for creepiness. Like the the worms that cause um, elephantiasis, that swelling in the legs, or the river blindness, where where they get into your eyes and you can't see. A quarter of the people on the planet have these parasitic worm diseases. These diseases are neglected because the people that have them can't afford to pay for their medicines. Probably more than one billion people worldwide suffer from one or more of these neglected diseases. I'm originally from West African region where, uh, where all the diseases are very prevalent. So I was very excited to be part of the team. I will be in a really good position to help and give back uh, like to my community back home by being part of the research, providing cures for these diseases. As, as scientists in drug discovery, we are at one end of this continuum of the whole drug development process. The patients are at the other end. We look at a whole bunch of like compounds and filter them down into what compound might be active against a particular disease. The, the lead molecule that we got through our screening program has a really exciting profile. Uh, and the problem is that it only has that profile when we give it by injection. Our goal is to try to find um, a way that we can change this molecule so that we get the same effect when you take it orally. Possibility means to me um, the day or the decade or the year where we can actually uh, have regions around the world that can be cured from tuberculosis, from the worm diseases. That would improve the lives of millions and millions of people who have these diseases. Yeah.